Research is about the understanding of the Earth structure, and the seismic wave is one of the physical phenomena can cross the Earth and gather information <coughs> outside of the Earth. So we use this kind of phenomena data to analyze the structure of the Earth. And today I'm going to give a, a quick introduction. We propose a new methodology. We call it the distributional final and this is very efficient, maybe for the future of the structure of the Earth's Mars moon. We know human beings have installed a lot of seismometer on the surface of the Earth's moon and, moon, uh, and Mars. So this is very important to do the global simulation in this kind of ball shape body. So traditionally, finite difference method, people always use only one domain to do the simulation. Another very popular method we call it final animal method. They use a lot of mini elements to do the simulation. And then we propose a new methodology. It's like we combine these two methodologies. We you can make sure you stay at the mic. You have to stay at the mic, otherwise, people online will feel like Okay, you. okay. Sorry, so yeah, sorry. You, yeah, you, you okay. Can point here. Okay. Point okay. In the middle, we propose a new methodology. We want to combine these two methodologies. That means for each element in final element method, yeah. we transfer the all the cooperations with final difference method. And you will see it's very flexible and very efficient, and we can use it in many different applications. The methodology part, I only use one slide to take. Normally, people use the dot to describe the physical uh, quantities, but now we try to use the distribution functions, like here is a baseline. And uh, here I give you an example. If we have an earthquake beneath the North Pole, and the way we propagate, this is a cross section 2D. We do the cross section with the Earth, okay? And then have an earthquake to the North Pole. You can see the P wave, S wave. When the P wave is arriving, the building shake vertically, and it's normally not that damaged. When the S wave is coming, it shakes that horizontally. So it's very, <laughs> very horrible. So the most left two is the benchmark of the popular code we call it final animal method and the proposed DFD. We can see the wave field at different time steps, they're almost the same. And the middle one is the waveform benchmark. We can say that the waveform also very very <coughs> same. And what I want to highlight here is the very simple match in DFD. We can use a very simple match to do the spatial discrepancy. And then we can use very few number of elements, very few points, and the very quick time and very high efficiency. And then let's look at the 3D case. We put a station on purpose on the corner. We want to check whether we can have a very accurate survey, survey wave simulation, like this kind of phase. Because surface wave is have much larger amplitude than the like the S wave or even some in P way. So we need this very accurate simulation. And you can see, we can have a very good result as the popular SEM code. And it's the same. And then, as we know, for the Earth, this kind of body, we have outer pole. It is fluid. So we have a physical question. That's what we call it solid fluid coupling. That's the lower mantle is solid. Outer core is fluid. So we need to solve the wave crack, wave equation in this kind of solid free coupling. In traditionally, in SEM way, final end method way, people solve the acoustic wave in the outer core because it's fluid. And elastic wave equation in the lower mantle. But in our case, we can use one equation, like the elastic wave equation to save the entire system. So it's very easy to code. We can, do not need to separate all the domain. And it's also very efficient. And then what we are going to do is try to extend this kind of methodology to using the a 9 and a 10 from one element, main element, and a global Earth. And then we try to refine it. If we have higher simulation, high frequency simulation, we can find the fine structure of the Earth, like the doctor found the structure of our human beings. Okay, I will stop here. Thank you.